Hey folks, Brian T. Shirley here, BTS on the road, about to head to Snee Farm Country Club in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Myself and Lance Morrison are going to be doing uh, some music and comedy. We're going to play some music uh, for their dinner, and then uh, we'll be doing some comedy, and Lance has got some music he's going to be using in his show as well. So this is going to be a fun little show here locally. I only have to drive about 30 minutes or so, give or take, just to get there and... Uh, Relax, eat, and have some fun tonight. BTS on the road taking you to Sneak Farm Country Club. See you there. BTS Shirley BTS on the road here at Snee Farm Country Club. To tell you uh, that, uh, when you get to the venue to start preparing for the show and things are kind of changed, uh, it uh, kind of makes you a little nervous because A, the person that I uh, arranged all this with is not here, uh, the times are totally different and they're sending some guy to open that uh, I had already told them that I was bringing my own opener, but they're going to have some guy that I guess it's a member, go up and do some 15 minutes. So, anyway, this is uh, why I'm doing this series, folks, to show you what we go through as entertainers. And we're gonna see what happens. Maybe it'll all work out like most of the time it does, but you still get nervous and you still, uh, still worry a little bit. It's just part of the game, though. BTS on the The show. Fantastic. I'm sad. Have you looked at my hair, Brian? I mean, look, I should be feeling pretty good. Let's get a close up look, on that I hair. I know. Look at it. Oh, my God. Look at it. A man of my years, and I still have this head of hair. I'm All very right. excited about it. Thanks a lot there. <laughs> As I shaved my head today. Anyway. Shaving the head is in. Are you ready for the show? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm readier than I can ever be. Good. So, how about you? You ready? Oh, yeah. So we're looking at what we got here. Is this your whole set? This is my notes. This is this is this is the brilliance right here on paper, Brian. Right. This is where it happens. Where all the magic right here happens. Right wow. here. Don't be stealing none of my stuff. Do you are you sprinkling that with fairy dust or something? Yes, I right? am. I am. This is the magic. This is the magic. I'm doing the Beautiful. I'm doing the mind meld right now. Well. Wish you a good luck. Hey, you're a middle act tonight. You're not an opener. I'm very excited, man. <laughs> I'm moving on up. I'm over here at Snee Farm, you know. You know, I, I, they, they let me come in the front. The original. Right. Oh, wait a minute, Gene. Are you saying this right here is the original of the building we're in now? That was. And they yeah. added onto it. That's exactly right. Well, that is cool. So now we're at two to three stories. No, it's the same. It's the. It's the same thing. It was just that this level right here in the back was the uh, cart barn underneath. And all this was upstairs was the pro shop and the whole oh. shaboom upstairs. Hi, this is Gene Goodale, and you're watching BTS on the Road. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I'm Gene Goodale. I work in the pro shop. I am the I'm a reading a study done by the UN and a Canadian research team that dealt with the frequency of sexual activity, especially the age group of between males between 60 and 70 years old, and it all depends on what country you were born in. And I said, well, that's interesting. He said, well, the problem is in the United States, males in the age group between 60 and 70 have sexual activity two to three times a week. If you were born in Japan, you have sexual activity three to four times a year. I said, well, oh, yeah, okay. He said, but the problem is this is really upsetting to me and most of the guys in the Tuesday Friday group 
I said, well, why is that? He said, well, none of us knew we were Japanese. <laughs> I did pretty hard. My wife won't let me skip in the neighborhood anymore. She said it scares the children. <laughs> and so I, I skip at night. I skip at night. Uh, it really kind of took me off because none of these big running events and everything that you see even has a skipping category. Any of y'all run this Cooper River Bridge Run thing? Any of y'all? By applause. By applause. Anybody? Anybody? You know, the Cooper River Bridge Run, they have a category for runners. They have a category for walkers. And they have a category for people pushing strollers, but they do not have a category for skippers. So I looked into it on the interweb. And you just follow the money trail. I think it's the Kings. Those guys always win those races. Oh. So I don't know if y'all know this or not, but again, on the interweb, the Kenyans, the way they train is, uh, well, they have leopards chasing them. <laughs> and of course, the best Kenyan wins. <laughs> you see, I shut the door when I go in there. I just think that's the way people should be. You know? I, I, did, I, I believe in shutting the door. Now, I did learn something though. You shut it, but don't lock it. Oh, you did that, didn't you? Because <laughs> if you lock it, that pisses them off. Because now you're denying them access. They got to know what's going on all the damn time. <laughs> I locked it one time. What are you doing in there? <laughs> we need to talk about a conversation we had at 2.15 in the afternoon yesterday. I don't like the way you responded to the question that I asked you, so we're going to talk about it. <laughs> right. Because I'm trapped. You know. <laughs> See, I just don't think people should talk to each other during that. I think that's a very personal time in your life. Right? When I'm getting rid of waste materials, I just want to be in there by myself. I don't want to talk to anybody or anything. Right? Hell, animals don't do it. Have you ever seen a dog peeing and barking at another dog? I mean, <laughs> You know what I have seen though? I've seen a dumbass human talking to a dog while they were taking a crap. I've seen it. <laughs> hey, look at you. You're taking a poop in the morning. You ever see the dog's face? And I was like, hey, how you doing? I'm trying to take a crap here. You read a bit about what now? Well, I, I was. I, you know how we talk about the Lansom thing all the time? Uh -huh. Like, uh. So, you know, you do, you do the Brian T. Shirley thing, and last time I was here, that we, we talked about, I, I was sure your middle name was Tiberius, mm -hmm. you know, because your dad was a big Star Trek fan. And so then I thought it over, and I'm like, Brian will not tell me his middle name, his true middle name, so I'm guessing it's Theodore, but I'll just call him the Beaver. All right, we're gonna have to edit that out. My dog <laughs> even took my cat. Never thought that you'd be a girl like that Yeah When you gave an inch, you took it back Never thought that you'd be a girl like that You were the final straw that broke this camel's back Never thought that you'd be a girl like that Tell me, tell me, where, oh, where did that nice girl go? That I used to know, that I used to know. 